Welcome, welcome, boys. All right, in this video, we're going to be dropping the engine out of this Beetle. This is a 63 Beetle, I believe. And you'll notice it is not mine. Looks nothing like it. As you noted by these massive dual Weber carbs, but we're still going to film the procedure for dropping this thing, if for no other reason than we don't have to film it when I drop my engine out to replace and or clean the heat risers. So we'll be giving you a step by step on how we get this thing out of here for you. So I can do some camera work. <clears throat> We can get in there and get the details so you got a nice, easy shot of what we're doing. Why'd you take the seat out? And don't forget to disconnect your battery, boys. 13 mil disconnects the uh, negative terminal. Because you don't want them problems when we start taking loose the electrical connectors for the harness and everything off the What's generator. Boys, I'm up in here removing these nine mils because we gotta get this lighting assembly out of here. We are removing the deck lid, to make this process easier. Look, the boys with our light out. Half the work's already done for us, so we're gonna remove two of our tens for the deck lid. So we got one ten on either side, but properly should have two on each side. You're gonna pop these down. Either some big old clamps or something to get that. That's gotta go inside there and it'll pop out. Alright, so we're removing these hinges, we're also 10 mils, and then we're taking the carburetors out because this is not your standard engine. They're going to have to come off before we can drop this thing out and clear it because as you can see, they take up a little too much space in here. So, that's what we're doing next. Okay, boys, now we need to get the 10 out. In my beetle, it takes a straight screwdriver, but in this, we need 10 millimeters. We got two on each side, so we can get this rear 10 out of here. Allen keys. Also, want to do your spark plugs. Wires, rather. Tuck them out of the way. You don't want to get pinched when we drop this thing. Uh, we need to figure out. When we that's just sitting in there because you can see it just hitting it's hitting the metal, which well probably should be replaced. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I would. This got to come off. This bar's got to come off. And then the next thing you got to do is just you take these four bolts. There's two bolts. See, there's a bolt right here. See where my fingers at? Yeah. That bolt and there's one on the other side. Yeah. How do you get to that? That's one. easy. Okay. You just stick it straight down with the with one of those bars that has a little adjuster thing on the end. Well, we ain't worry about Swivel that. Swivel socket is what you're saying. We gotta get this off first. Yep. So, so that's what we gotta get off, boys. This we, linkage this bar, off, this off, throttle. This off. This off. And then this off. And with that out of the way, and then we should be able to get bolt on either side of the carb. So let me. Uh, This thing is gonna take this off. Which is not how you want it.
Okay, boys. 11 mils what we'll need. And you want to use your quarter inch socket set because uh, you don't get a lot of clearance between your your nut there and then these walls of that carb. And that's when we would have discovered that the battery was still connected to it. <laughs> So you don't confuse them and actually put positive on negative. Is that why? Yes. Why they do that? Well, did it make everything run reverse? Let's go backwards. Well, that's why I wonder what would happen on a whole car. I guess there. I, I don't know. What, what the hell would happen? Nothing. Just <laughs> really nothing. There's nothing. To do there. <laughs> I don't know boys, comment down below. Tell me what would happen. What would happen if you hooked the positive and negative backwards on your alternator? Like, does everything run in reverse? Do your lights run in reverse? I don't know. That's the question of the day. I never I never stopped to think about it. But if you know the answer, comment below and let me know. What happens if you somehow manage to reverse the electrical system in your car and now the current flows backwards? These are the things that we need answers to. In the name of science. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's one on each bank. Looks like that was leaking out a little bit too. Alright, while well, Dad's on the struggle bus getting the carburetors off, we're also going to go ahead and get these oil breathers off and out of the way on this side. No, I'm not doing that. It's probably putting uh, seeds on there because it's getting so hot. Now if you wanted to boys, you could just connect it from down here I reckon. But it may or may not be seized on so I think we're just going to we're just going to take it loose from the top but this is where it goes there's one on each side each valve cover And this is our line for the fuel that we'll have to disconnect as well. Okay, boys. So we ran into our first big snag here. These bolts on the back, which we think you can see. I know I can barely see it down there. The 11 mil. If you can see it next to that straight screw that's holding on that tin. I think if we had the proper tools we would be able to use our quarter inch swivels. We had a couple of them and enough extensions to come out there we could get enough of an angle to get that out. We can't so what we're going to try to do to do it better with our 3 8 is we got these tens off and we're going to try to lift those plates and this thing from the carburetors off and out of the way and then we might be able to get in there. We'll come back, you'll know if this uh, failed or f succeeded, but pro tip, have lots of extensions, lots of swivels of the quarter inch variety. You may not have to go this route, but you might anyway. We'll see. Okay, sit rep boys. We pulled the carbs off. One, two, three, four, thirteen mils. You will need a box wrench with many teeth to get these back ones off. We used a ratchet to get this one off. You can use the box end to get this one off. But now, 
should be able to see. <coughs> if you couldn't before, exactly what we're dealing with. <coughs> Those bolts. Those is nut rather. So, 11 mil. And we're just waiting on the uh, return from tour on to get the other swivels. Then we need to get that out of there in the correct quarter inch size. So we got two quarter inch swivels coming, one three eighths coming, <coughs> and we should be able to get enough of an angle at it and we can get that thing out of there. Oh, and on this side there's this Bosch thing. I have like a huge sheet metal screw threaded in there that was in the way, so we uh, unthreaded that to get that out of the way there. Yeah. All right, boys, we have success. We got this side out, and this is our Megazord that we used. 11 swivel, two small extensions. We'll see if that works for the passenger bank as well. The driver, success. We just had to take extra steps to get there. Here, haven't really brought it up to him. Don't get dirty. How come you don't care if we get dirty? Well, that's oh, yeah, that spark plug. Who? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it would be really fun to that's replace. What I was saying when I was looking at it, okay. Where's the engine power? Don't go out of trouble to go. I don't know what he's doing over there. Yeah. Well, the good news is if you replace it now yeah, once right, with the here. beastly spark plugs they make, you'd be golden. All right. Well, we've succeeded. What are we taking off next? All right. So the next thing would be this. Well, it depends. You can go from the bottom or you go from the top. Well, this there's a bolt which, dude, they have the fucking thing still on here. Oh, there's a third one. There, look at this. What? what are we looking at? Do you see the wrench stuck back there? Yeah, why is a wrench on there? On oh there. I, got a, <laughs> I got a bonus? That is, that's on the bolt to get the engine out. Oh, I that's the, where it was, but they sure found it for us. That's a bonus. <laughs> what the hell is this? Well, half the work's already been done, boys. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's where the bolt is. There's there's one there and the other one's so easy to get to. Oh yeah. But why is I don't know why there's that what that I, mine doesn't have that extra that ten extra tin or yeah. So do we have to do we have to pull this tin off? I have no idea. I I don't know. I don't know how you get that off. Well, looks like a lot of well we'll check if it advise and be back here in a second, boys. All right, boys. So 17 mil what we need. There's two of these on the top. Now this one we can see. The one that's way down in that tin, you guys might be able to see. We actually cannot. Alright boys, we've made, we've made... Can you get to it now? Um... Are you kidding no. Right now? They gave us a false sense of security, I think. Well, we managed to remove a piece of tin thinking we were clever boys, but all there is is some sort of heat exchanger there. Is there a bolt there's a bolt here? Yeah, there's a bolt here. The same thing, another screw? That in the way? Yes, that if this comes out you can get to it. It's right yeah. it's right underneath that. There's a bolt right here. Alright. <laughs> there's a bolt right here. Alright boys, so we're not completely boned. We got this piece of tin off. Um, with a screw. There was you mean with a, a flathead. Did you take a picture of that? No, with a flathead. Yeah. There's no okay. Flathead. So here's what. So yeah, this is very very guerrilla warfare style, boys. So we're using a camera <laughs> to look at a camera that's looking at the thing, and that's how we saw that there was the same screw, a straight screw that was holding this piece of tin in. There's another one apparently holding this piece of tin in. If we take this thing out we should be able to get that. And how we did that with our tool here is you use a small quarter inch ratchet attached to a quarter inch socket attached to your straight bit 
and that is how you loosen it. So that's how we're going to loosen this one, and then we should have, be able to get our 17 mil in there. We hope. Stay tuned for more. All right, boys, success. So we got that little shootout, that little duct, if you will. So now we can get to it. She's right there. Yaddy. See, you can, can you see it with the, the camera? Yeah, I can if see it. If you look at the viewfinder yeah, here, you can see it. But it's right there. All right, boys, so we are smarter than the car. Smarter than the average of it's the odd thing that the other side. Oh no! It's, I'm getting it. I'm just trying to put pressure on it at the same time. That is so gay. <laughs> yeah, it's very homo erectus. Oh my god! Dude. Well, I can't get it now. <laughs> you came this far just to fail, huh? If I could, you can feel it. Yeah. Okay. I can feel it. Oh, I don't know if you can help me. Well, I don't know what how. What kind of assistance do you need? Well, there's a screw. Go underneath there. Turn the light on. I don't know if you can reach your hand up there, though. Uh, that's the question of the day. How do you want to turn the light on? Oh, this power button, I reckon? Yeah. Alright. There's two settings on there. Um. Because I can feel it here. You see our fingers? Yeah. Oh, I, I see that. Right I see it. I just need the, something. Okay, we need the vice grips. Where, this is your time Wait, to shine. Do we need the 17? You need another 17 back there or something? Well, hold on. Here, try to use the gangster one. I don't know if it'll work. The gangster wrench? Can they help you, Dad? Let me try the box in so I can see it here. Yeah, I can untie it with my finger, but it's because it keeps spinning. Well, I'll try to spin it a little more. Okay. All right, it's on. All right, I have to put my direction on it because it's not tight. Are you okay like that? Yeah, get it done. You got it. Off, yep. Might have to the other side too, but I never know. Well, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get that one off? Yeah. <laughs> Good enough for government work, right? Yeah, that's what I always say. That's what I always say. <laughs> well, I'm digging this creeper, too. I really need one of these as well. You don't really have one? No. This one seems to be okay. Yeah, <coughs> this one's coming off okay, it's so. off. I guess it gives the yellow one later. Right, do you since you're down there you wanna get these big bolts off? Or never mind. Well if you roll over here you can Yeah, we'll say I can't get it from here, I'm gonna have to roll your way and then under this one. Um Yeah, there's these big ass bolts down there, you can't get them. I reckon the seventeen. Uh no, they're much bigger than that. Really? Yeah, you see the big black bolt? No, right here, you see these things. Those things are there. Oh, these, these, yeah, these? Are the, the big boys, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's big. What size? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if it's 27. Oh, that's, that's, say we'll start the biggest we got? No, I got a couple bigger ones. Um, 27 appears to fit. All right, give me that there half inch ratchet. Need an extension or anything? I don't think so, no. Uh, Can you see okay? Yeah. I might need uh you need safety glasses? Yeah, there's a bunch of crap that keeps falling down. There it is. Would you like there's a bunch of rust that keeps falling down. Do you need glasses? I think I need a hammer is what I need. A hammer? You want a breaker bar? You need a bigger bar when you get that. Or we just bash it with a hammer, maybe. Yeah, I got this breaker bar. Here, try this one. That doesn't break, it, then you have a problem. Well, 
Well, then you got a woman who knows what you really do. Well, uh, what I really had to do is get off this roll of thing. <laughs> With all the amount of torque I have to fly to. Are we, uh, are we videotaping that? It's, it's rolling. Do I need to get up in there or what? Uh, yeah, you can show what we're doing here. It's not on, is it? Yeah, that's just the screens. In the, if you press the top thing, it'll give you the viewfinder for 30 seconds. I just have it the screen so it's off so it doesn't use the battery. Burn the battery up as much. Yeah, and you I gotta take the exhaust off first. No, it's all hard. No, it'll all come down in one glorious go. You may have to do some body work here. This is pretty shoddy. <coughs> <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. It's uh, underneath. The that's why it's bending like that because it's rusted. The piece. You'll uh, see it when you get underneath there. There's like a piece that you can see it broke. But that's understandable because that's where all the salt would hit. Well, these they must have bought them now because this yeah. shouldn't be touching the bottom. I'm sure that they redid this whole piece right here. I'm sure they re redid this whole piece because this. This can't be factory. Well, it, and this, I that's why they're... Right because that's missing this whole strip right. here. <clears throat> I don't know if I would really worry about putting that thing on there because you're never going to... It's not going to matter. <coughs> I, if by anything, you could put a little piece of rubber like, on just the get back. get gasket and put it in here. All right, I would do something there. But you're, for the most part, you're always going to have it open. All right, where's that, where's that big ass... There we go. That's loose enough, I think. Loose enough for government work? Yeah, there we go. Should I loose the other side first or just mm -hmm. take this all the way out? It don't matter. It's all supported right now. It's it's kind of, it's going to still be on. It's the only yeah, the only time it's, it's going to loose, it's going to fall is when we pull it back. Okay. Which, now I'm thinking about it, you might take the exhaust off. That's why I was asking. Well, and, uh, oh, maybe, because uh, it, it's going to be a little... You, well, you got a little bit of room to play with. So I would well, how long are those studs? If they're not longer than... I mean, we got, what, an inch? Yeah. That should how far be, that is should it be on the line, though? It should be okay. It's not very long. So what did Susan say about the color? Not something that you would get or something like that. Or no, it's a girly color. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a girly color. Well, the car is a girly car. That's what I said. Oh, aren't, they all, aren't they all girly? I mean, you'll hear the word not. Ted, remember, Ted Bundy drove one, and he was not very girly. You, you, well, you will hear the word cute all the right. time. That is true. That, I, but I I mean, I kind of think, like, I got the wire basket for the inside of Mike's like, oh, that's cute. So, I mean, you, well, you also have a, uh, he also has the uh, uh, antenna ball on there. That's true. <laughs> you don't get much more cute than I that. I got the cutest antenna ball I could get on it, too. Do you want the impact? We've had it, wait, we had an impact for the whole time. Yeah, you already used it. Like, you, had, you had two pairs of gloves in his hair. <laughs> That's exactly why I said it like that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you want this extra set of gloves? We had an extra set of gloves this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> She's go up a scotch so I can get this thing out of here. It's not that there's no pressure on it. Uh, no. Oh, there wasn't? Yeah. Well, it's as high as I can go, bro. So. <laughs> you better go underneath that fucking beetle and show them. Okay, this yes. Okay, boys. So we had an absolute shit show, a horror show, if you will. So other than those four bolts on the transmission, we have <laughs> underneath this thing. 
this bracket that was clamped to another piece of metal we got rid of down here some of this thing you can see it it has these big old bushings and next to them right above them there's these other 17 millimeters that were being held in place that were mating the engine to the transmission so we were yanking and yanking and yanking wasn't budging and that's why there's two extra two extra ones on the bottom two extra nuts so now you can see that there's a nice gap in the case so now she's ready to come out you would have to take the motor out to get the transmission out, so I guess this is the time to do it. Well, yeah, with George, I mean, shit. Yeah, after, after that horror show. All right. All right. Well, you're going to have to kind of get it back a little more, and then we'll, we'll get it down. Uh, that's that's pretty far back. Um, yeah, the only thing that's in here is the cable now. Yeah, you should be, it'll probably. come out. With uh, the, the I think I'm, I'm, you're on the cable. Seems like it needs to come back. Yeah. Well, it can't go back too much further. You're going to bang your, uh, well, it's fine now. your deal. Right. You oh, guys, look. Now, well, it's sitting on the uh, the clutch now. Like the clutch won't let it, unless it needs to go far. Well, need to take the thing. <laughs> Probably, because that's what's holding the belt on. So, I think if we just 
take that piece and it'll completely clear it. Well, no. Uh, so the clutch is almost touching it. So it's not the Well, that pipe, I told you about that pipe, you get cheese. Right there, this has got to go through the body, don't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, it's going to take it off down here. You already, it's already right here, just pull it off. What am I pulling off? This pipe, it. you see the pipe that's fucking hanging from right there? It's got to go, got to go from underneath there. You have to take this off, you're going to pull through that. Ah, pull up with that. Alright. Well, what's holding it on the underneath? A, a straight screwdriver takes that off? So, what we're going to have to do is, oh, we're going to have to pick that side up, and then I'll pick this side up, and then pull the jack out. Pull it underneath. Alright, we ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're going to have to pick up harder than that. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. <laughs> it's now noon, and we started this project at seven something. Twelve. Yes, and we have to eat at what two? Once is it two boys? Are we gonna make it? No. Everybody's wife hates us. <laughs> so. That's how you do it, and I'm now um, revising my original. Remove the engine to clean the heat riser theory. But uh, we shall see. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, boys.